Meliodas' abilities, the Seven Deadly Sins. Meliodas is the Dragon Sin of Wrath and Captain of the Seven Deadly Sins, the husband and lover of Elizabeth Leonis and her previous incarnations, the owner of the renowned Tavern the Boar Hat, the current King of the Kingdom of Leonis, the father of Tristan, and the main protagonist of the series. His sacred treasure is the Demon Sword Lost Vein, and his inherent power is Full Counter. He was also the head of the Ten Commandments as Meliodas the Love and a former member of Stigma after his defection from the Demon Clan. Welcome to the Amagi. In today's video, we're going over Meliodas' abilities. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Amagi's reach stretches beyond just this channel, so if you're a fan of us, please consider subscribing to our other channels and following us on all of our social media. Help us reach our goal of passing 100,000 followers on all of our accounts by the end of the year. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Meliodas' skill in battle and power are legendary. He was the captain of the legendary Seven Deadly Sins, and when he was a member of the Demon Clan, Meliodas reigned supreme once as the leader of the Ten Commandments and the only worthy heir to the throne of Demon King, greatly feared by the enemies of the Demon Clan and other demons alike, considered to be the most powerful demon second only to the Demon King. So powerful that the demon Gother stated his betrayal alone caused the balance of power between the goddess and demon clans to tilt in the favor of the former and allow them to start the holy war, forcing Gother as a last resort to convert Mael, the strongest member of the goddess clan, into Estorosa of the demon clan in an attempt to regain the advantage over the goddess clan. Like all members of the demon clan, he's capable of manifesting their mysterious power of darkness, which he can use and morph into various shapes for a variety of purposes, such as forming wings to fly, reattaching limbs, and mostly enhancing his both physical and magical abilities. He's also knowledgeable of demonic enchantments. He's most well known for his skills with the sword and his pure physical prowess, but he also has incredible magical abilities, notably his virtual immunity to magic attacks through his ability Full Counter. An example of his immense combat skills was when he was overwhelmed by both the ancient fairy and giant kings Gloxinia and Droll simultaneously. The most noteworthy display of his outstanding fighting prowess and power was when Meliodas' emotions, upon becoming serious, could defend himself against his father for a brief period of time before being quickly subdued. When recovering the power taken from him by Merlin, the amount of darkness released from the Goddess Amber was enough to blot out the sky, and the subsequent aftershock from Istar could be felt from Edinburgh almost a hundred kilometers away. Before the start of the series, his power was intense enough to destroy the entire kingdom of Danafor. Merlin, feeling his power was too vast and dangerous for him to control, stole most of it before he could do the same to the Kingdom of Leonis. Even with most of his power taken, however, he still had a power level of more than ten times the standard for a Holy Knight of Leonis. With his power returned, he can easily fight on par with and defeat members of the legendary Ten Commandments, even despite it only being a fraction of his original power during the Holy War. After saving several villagers, it's said by Bond that Meliodas is as strong as ever, but that his power was different back during the defense of Leonis. After unleashing his full demonic powers in a desperate attempt to break free of Melasculus Anton Nomayu, Meliodas regains the power he had when he was the leader of the Ten Commandments, attaining his Assault Mode. He easily outmatched Escanor in their fight despite his power increasing every second to the point that Deanne noticed he was toying with the Sin of Pride, remaining almost completely unharmed by his attacks, being defeated only when Escanor reached the peak of his powers as the One, though Zeldris would state it was due to Meliodas still underestimating Escanor. Even after being badly injured and almost sliced in half by Escanor, moments later Meliodas was able to quickly recover, only being stopped by Merlin's timely interference. Even while unconscious, his aura was already so immensely powerful and dark to cause even Escanor, as well as post-trial King and Deanne, to feel sick around him. Later upon reawakening, he effortlessly pinned down both Zeldris and Esterosa, with not even the Demon King's power allowing Zeldris to move the slightest and soon subduing Esterosa completely as well, all the while also immobilizing Cusack. When attacked again, he effortlessly overtook and restrained Zeldris while simultaneously protecting Elizabeth from Esterosa. He also effortlessly survived unscathed by the attacks of Arthur wielding Excalibur, and his aura was easily powerful enough to intimidate the spirits inside the Holy Sword to submission. His power is so great that it eclipses even the mighty four Archangels, as Esterosa himself openly said that if he could not defeat Steriel and Tarmiel of the four Archangels, he would have no chance to defeat Meliodas. Like his younger brothers, he can also remove the commandments with Jikai, having stolen Grey Roads while Merlin was unconscious. He's also capable of performing a ritual to absorb the Ten Commandments, and is the only one apart from Zeldris able to survive to take in more than one commandment. As shown when he had begun absorbing five of the commandments, although to completely absorb several commandments would take more time to the point that five commandments would take half a day to be fully absorbed. 
According to Meliodas, once he's absorbed all the commandments, which is half of the Demon King's power, he'll become so powerful that he'll be as powerful as the Demon King, and thus making him capable of breaking the curse on Elizabeth. While absorbing the commandments, Meliodas produced an almost impenetrable field of darkness surrounding them, which Merlin stated she could do nothing but destroy, needing Ludosdale's sanctuary along with Melascula's commandment that Merlin holds, being pulled towards Meliodas to be able to enter. Only the original demon could dispel the space. Ludosiel states that if Meliodas became the new Demon King, then all of the forces of Stigma would certainly be defeated, with the Supreme Deity now being unable to help them. After successfully absorbing all the commandments, Meliodas had become Demon King, therefore increasing his powers to the same godly levels as his father. His extraordinary magical power completely clouds the entire environment in darkness, and leaves all of the seven deadly sins, Mael, Ludosiel, and Elizabeth in absolute awe. Meliodas has been afflicted with a curse by the Demon King as punishment for falling in love with a goddess and killing and betraying his demonic brethren that revives him without fail no matter how many times he dies, whether via killing himself or getting killed. It additionally prevents him from dying of old age, effectively keeping him immortal. However, upon each revival, he slowly loses some of his emotions in exchange, slowly returning to his former self. The curse can last permanently, and the only way to lift it is for someone with power rivaling that of the Demon King and Supreme Deity to lift it. During the Holy War, Meliodas claims while escaping from Purgatory that he achieved the necessary means to break both curses. Then, after the Demon King was expelled from his body, Meliodas finally destroyed both curses, freeing himself and Elizabeth once and for all. Due to the awakening of his original power, Meliodas became the new Demon King on his own, and as such, he can't stay in the mortal plane due to his massive power, which causes irregular weather phenomena across the four corners of Britannia from just being there. However, Meliodas sacrificed his godly power to cancel out the commandments in order to prevent his father from ever returning again, and thus lost his new power, and was able to remain in Britannia once again. Full Counter this ability allows Meliodas to reflect magic attacks aimed at him back at the enemy but with much greater power. Therefore, the stronger the opponent's powers are, the stronger the rebound becomes. A prime drawback is that Meliodas can't initiate attacks himself. He's also incapable of reflecting attacks if the opponent doesn't allow him to read the timing slash nature of the attacks. Physical, indirect, and continuous attacks can also not be reflected. The Demon King stated that this technique is merely an imitation of Chandler's technique, and that the original magic power is something different. Hellblaze. A mysterious ability displayed by Meliodas that allows him to generate black flames. The technique also has the additional effect of nullifying an immortal's regeneration, as shown when he used it against Bon. Assault Mode. This state is reached when Meliodas unleashes his demon powers to the fullest, achieving immense power. Essentially, this form allows Meliodas to access his full power. According to Melascula, back in the days when Meliodas was in command of the Ten Commandments, even they were in fear of him while in this mode. The drawback is that this temporarily robs Meliodas of all of his feeling and emotions, causing him to revert to how he was before he betrayed the Demon Clan. Kami Chigiri Meliodas cuts his opponent with his sword a total of a thousand times in an instant. Trillion Dark Meliodas launches a barrage of small spheres of high concentrated darkness at the opponent. Shidenisen. Meliodas slashes multiple opponents several times with his sword in an instant. Dark Prominence. Meliodas infuses his sword with the power of darkness and performs a powerful slash. Combined Technique, Kamigui. After his sword is infused with Elizabeth's arc, Meliodas cuts his opponent a total of a thousand times in an instant. Combined Technique, Tyrant Killing. Meliodas and Zeldris attack the enemy with their swords imbued with the power of darkness. Commandment. As the former leader of the Ten Commandments, Meliodas was the original wielder of the Commandment of Love, which was bestowed upon him by the Demon King. To ally himself with the Goddess Clan, he willingly abandoned his commandment during his betrayal of the Demon Clan. Due to Gother's forbidden spell, the Demon King gave the commandment to his supposed second son, Esterosa, who was Mael turned into a demon due to the commandment given to him, and thus making it look like the former killed the latter. After completing the ritual to become the Demon King after absorbing all of the commandments, Meliodas held all ten commandments, but upon forcing the Demon King out of his body, the commandments were also forced out. Giant Broadsword Meliodas used his sword in the Holy War 3,000 years ago. He also used it when he was the leader of the Ten Commandments. The sword is at least twice the size of Meliodas. It was broken in the battle Meliodas and the goddess Elizabeth fought and lost against the Demon King and the Supreme Deity. Though the sword didn't show any traits of being able to use an ability like a sacred treasure. Dragon Handle 
Meliodas used this broken sword in conjunction with Full Counter. The sword also appears to have abilities of its own and is one of the keys to the Coffin of Eternal Darkness. Liz's Sword Once Meliodas regained his lover's sword Liz, Meliodas started using it after his dragon handle was stolen. It also works in conjunction with Full Counter. It was broken during Meliodas' fight with an Albion. Lost Vein as a member of the Seven Deadly Sins, Meliodas possesses a sacred treasure. Lost Vein is a demon-splitting sword, which he sold at a pawn shop in Camelot for money to fund the boar hat ten years ago. It's later returned to him by Merlin, who is revealed to have purchased the sword and kept it safe all this time. Its ability, Jitsu Obunshin, is compatible with Meliodas' full counter, allowing him to use it at much more dangerous levels. Bone Sword in Purgatory, Meliodas' emotions created a sword made with the bones of the indigenous species with a single-edged long blade. The blade, like many, is compatible with Meliodas' full counter. Power Level Meliodas' power level increases in stages as the story progresses and is increased further whenever he utilizes his demon powers. Using Lost Vein, Meliodas can create a clone with a maximum power level of half of his power level. Creating more clones will cause that power to be equally distributed among them. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.